Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to a completely brand new playthrough. We've taken a further step back in time to the legendary PlayStation 1, where, as you can see from your screen, we are going to be playing Croc, Legend of the Gobbos. It's worth mentioning that I've never actually completed Croc. So most of this playthrough is going to be a blind run. So this should be fun. Let's go! He is cute though. He can't deny that. Little furry bird. No idea what it is. I'm sure somebody somewhere does. I know what it is. It's a gobo. Is it a gobo? I don't know. The lack of dialogue in this game is a little bit confusing. Controls are clunky as hell. Either that or I'm just terrible. But either way, it's all the same. Down the well. It is just standard 90s platformer though. It's just collect stuff, save stuff, jump around and stuff. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I was about to jump then. Had to end it well, wouldn't it? Over the little fireball. Oh, uh, oh. that was close. Oh. I'm not in pain, but I'm playing with fire then. So slow to move. Cool. So far, so good. No embarrassing deaths yet. But it's early days. Plenty of time for me to make a, a fool of myself. something that jumps out. I almost fall for, always fall for it almost every single time. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump. Ah. Oh. Has to happen eventually. By the way, the door's just open for you before you actually get to it. Need doors like that at home. The first level out of the way. Underground Overground. Level two, or level one, two. As is standard with every game of this type, you collect a hundred of anything and you get an extra life. Quite handy to pick up. Every game has some kind of collectible. Mario's got the coins. Banjo Kazooie's got the uh, musical notes. Sonic's got the rings. Wouldn't be a platform on. Well, that was a waste of my time. Cheers, pal. Oh, before I was rudely interrupted. So yeah, a hundred of uh, any collectible. 
think pretty much any game gives you an extra life. I went far off 100 before that little uh, devil goblin thing in the corner decided to completely destroy my um, total. Whatever makes you sleep at night. Oh, and we lost our first life. Again, had to happen eventually. Now we'll go straight back. Fairy goblin thing. Die as well. Climb then. Alright. Right. there. We lost a life, we gained a life. Nothing won, nothing lost. Seems kind of pointless, really, doesn't it? if you actually get anything for getting a certain number of the bobos, fairy bird thing, whatever you want to call them. To. We'll just call them fluff. All through all of them at once. Must have really missed them. No, we don't. Still, can't wait to get in another life. Lava, lava, lava. Interesting. He's so cute, though, isn't he? Look at him. I want one. If anyone has a baby crocodile, send it my way. something behind one of these, hiding in plain sight. That's where I'm going. 
Oh, what's that? Huh. Well, I mean, I was right. Well, a bad little secret, that one. Extra couple of lives. On with the game. What's down the well? He got it. Let's start with a green gem. Is there anyone else so far? I have more than that. Oh, never mind. Ah, key. Leave the faith. Oh, hey, we got it. Moves slowly. What we got up here then? Some crystal gem things. More crystal gem things. A balloon. And then I locked the door. Cool. It's all good collecting now, but I've got to try and get through the rest of the level without getting hit and losing them. And like he enjoyed that. Oh no, we don't have a key for that one. Got a key up here. I do not believe there is. Hmm. Sorry dude, you can stay there. Think about what you may or may not have done. As expected. OK, 
Okay, what is that? Is that a duck? I'm guessing that's the antagonist, the bad guy. So we're fighting some kind of mutated duck. Oh, this looks horrible. I'm just gonna play it safe on this one. and repeat. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Wait till they stop. Smack. Sorry dude, game over for you. Gotcha. He just turns into a regular duck. Hey, Flappy Bird! Magic Flappy Bird! World. I won't get too excited. Plenty of embarrassment to come yet. And 
that's what the key will be found at the beginning of the levels for. Oh, that's a little fluff. a really quick level. Very, very quick level. Cave Fear. He's so cute. I want Croc. I want one. I'm going to probably going to cut that bit out because that was quite embarrassing. Safe to say I've got a little bit overconfident now. And I've literally just said there's further embarrassment to come. Oh well. for these things, don't they? Stuck in the doors. Well, 
lava penguin messed us up. The fifth one was only four. We got only four again. Keep missing out on one. Oh, you thought you could be clever. You nearly had me there. Stay there. Darkness descends. It sounds ominous. We didn't go through all three of those boxes, we would have squashed a little fluff thing. I know exactly what this is going to do. Didn't want to be saved, then if he was running away. Should have left him there. Save the last one instead. Got it. Lava makes me very, very nervous. Well. Hey, does he wire? Says. Got a little bit ahead of myself on that bit. Jumps just a touch too soon. Oh, 
Oh, 97. Two more. Ooh, the boss fight. Ladybird. Ladybug. Ooh, with boxing gloves. Interesting. A ladybug with boxing gloves. Oh, this looks horrible. This is horrible. Died already, it's not even the boss. a minimum of one to not die so okay, okay we'll, we'll have more than that on this one then Start. That was a fantastic start. a punch. Done and done. Oh, go on, eat it. He tried to kill you. Eat him. Eat him. Eat him. Ah, disappointed in you, Croc. World two one. All right, so that's the end of episode one of this Croc playthrough see how we get on and how many embarrassing deaths we have in world 2 tune in for episode 2 peace out <laughs>